One of the big new features introduced to combat in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the addition of synergy skills and synergy abilities. Their usefulness in battle may not be immediately apparent, but rest assured, they are extremely useful, and you should know how to use them to their fullest potential. So, with that said, here's a guide on how to properly use synergy in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The first thing to know about synergy abilities and skills is how to unlock them. To do so, you'll need to go through each individual character's folios, either at a folio vending machine or at one of the many Magnata Books locations in the various towns. Their merchants are marked with a book icon on the map. The folios themselves are akin to something like the Sphere Grid from Final Fantasy X. You start at the base and unlock nodes as you work your way up to the top of the grid. To unlock a node, you must spend skill points, or SP, which are earned by leveling up and obtaining manuscripts specific to each character. Eventually, you'll start reaching nodes that are locked, requiring you to increase either your party level or your weapon level. Increasing your party level is done by completing side quests, deepening your character bonds, completing world intel, and simply just by making progress through the main quest. To increase your weapon level, you'll simply just need to earn enough SP. As for the nodes themselves, the orange ones are either synergy abilities, heavy hitting team up attacks that require synergy charges and grant the two characters involved some sort of buff, or synergy skills, free to use offensive and defensive techniques that build ATB for both characters at the same time. We'll get into the specifics of these in a bit, but for now, you should just know that these are really the things that you'll want to focus your points on, as unlocking synergy abilities and skills for each character will give you more combat options to play with, and will especially be helpful when moments in the story split up and lock your party in configurations that you can't control. The purple nodes are typically elemental abilities that allow you to attack elemental weaknesses without having to spend MP on them. They're much weaker than the actual elemental spells, but can still be useful in a pinch and are good to have. Finally, the blue nodes are stat upgrades, and these are what are really going to help you tailor a character to your playstyle. These are unique from character to character, so really play around with them and try to find what works for you the best. Remember that you can refund individual nodes or all of your SP at any time for free and completely respec your character, so experiment to your heart's content. First, let's touch upon synergy abilities. These are powerful techniques that can only be performed once you've reached the necessary amount of synergy charges with two characters. Synergy charges are obtained by using virtually any move that costs ATB, but if you want to be extra sure, look for this symbol while hovering over technique. Once you obtain the required amount of charges on two characters, you'll be able to perform one of their synergy abilities, assuming you've unlocked it on the character's folio. Synergy abilities all vary greatly in their animations and damage, but they'll always provide one of four buffs. This yellow arrow symbol means that the synergy ability will raise the two characters' limit levels by one, allowing them to use level two limit breaks. You can even do it again to get three levels, allowing characters to use their ultimate level three limit break. This is a late, late game unlock though, so don't worry about it until you get all the way to the end of your folio. This purple infinity symbol, on the other hand, will grant both characters involved in the attack unlimited mana for a limited amount of time, making it especially helpful once you gain powerful and mana-hungry spells like the Ga Elemental spells, Comet, or if you just need a character that's low on mana to use a desperate heal. The hourglass symbol increases potency against staggered foes, but most importantly, it extends the stagger timer. Use this as soon as an enemy gets staggered to gain more time to deal multiplied damage numbers and bring tough enemies down to size. Finally, there's also this icon, which grants you three bars of meter instead of just two. This ability not only allows characters to stockpile more ATB segments, but each segment will charge faster. This is because, rather than extending the ATB bar to make it take longer to fully charge, they fit more ATB segments within the same amount of space. Pair this effect with haste, and you'll be dishing out spells and abilities with alarming regularity. Next up, there are synergy skills. There's a couple of key things to understand about synergy skills. First is that they don't require any sort of resource in order to use, just that both characters involved with the skill are in the active party, aren't tied up in some sort of animation, or aren't literally tied up by some sort of binding effect. If they are, the other character will wait for a bit for the restricted character to get freed up, and then continue on with the skill, or they'll just drop it and return to an idle position. 
Second is that they build ATB for both characters simultaneously. This is probably the most useful part of these skills and why you'll want to try to incorporate them into your combat. This is especially useful for characters like Aerith, who are typically very slow to build ATB. Third is that they're broken down into offensive skills and defensive skills. Offensive skills are on R1 plus triangle and R1 plus square, and defensive skills are on R1 plus circle and R1 plus X. Every character can initiate three unique skills, and even though there are more combinations of characters than that, and the attacks themselves all have different names depending on the characters involved, you should always just think of them as three unique moves per character, with a couple of small nuances. Let's go over each character individually, and you'll see what I mean. Cloud's two offensive synergy skills are Range Blade and Melee Blade. Range Blade is done when Red and or Barret are in the active party, and allows Cloud to ricochet either Barret's bullets for physical damage, or Red's magic for magical damage back at foes. It doesn't do much damage, but it's still a great way to build up meter for both characters at a safe distance. Melee Blade is done with either Tifa, Kate Sith, Yuffie, and or Aerith. This is a chargeable attack that can do big physical damage if your partner is Tifa or Kate Sith, or big magical damage if you're with Yuffie or Aerith. It's a great option to use if you've gotten an opponent staggered or pressured, and you don't have the ATB to use one of Cloud's abilities. Finally, Counterfire is Cloud's defensive synergy skill, and regardless of which partner he has, it always does the same thing. Puts him in a stance that lets him absorb a range attack or spell and deal a counterstrike. This is wonderful for Cloud as it complements the Punisher stance extremely well, which can counter only melee attacks. Tifa's synergy skills aren't about dealing damage. She does that fine enough by herself, but rather they're more about making up for some of her weaknesses. Her first skill, Slip and Slide, lets her jump backwards to avoid an attack and then get thrown towards the enemy to begin her offense. If you manage to avoid an attack, you'll get a nice counterattack with the added benefit of gaining ATB for two characters at once. Leaping Strikes allows Tifa to cover for her main weakness, Aerial Enemies. When paired with Cloud or Red, this skill sends her straight ahead with a flurry of kicks and gets her in the air. When paired with Barret, Aerith, Yuffie, or Kate Sith, she gets sent straight up with an uppercut. You can also sweep up smaller enemies and drag them into the air for an aerial combo as well. And then finally, her last skill, Bodyguard, is done with Barret and or Red, and simply calls in her partner to defend her against an incoming attack. Simple, but effective, especially if Tifa's low on life. Barret's first skill, Friendly Fire, is an offensive skill used with Tifa, Aerith, and or Kate Sith that does a quick shot and hop back for decent damage. It is especially good to use with Aerith for the aforementioned reason that she's a character that struggles a bit to build ATB. Mad Dash works with Cloud, Yuffie, and Red, and has Barret rushing forward with a charge attack that leads to a two-hit follow-up. Not my favorite skill, as it's a bit slow and Barret does his best work at a distance, but sometimes you have to work with what you got. Iron Defense is a great defensive skill, usable with every character that significantly reduces the amount of damage taken while in the stance. There's no counterattack opportunity, but on the plus side, you can hold it down for as long as you want. It doesn't work against all attacks, but against certain flurries that would otherwise just be blocked, this is a great option. Aerith's main offensive synergy skill is a good one. It's called Spellbound Blast, and it's performable with Tifa, Yuffie, and Kate Sith. Like Cloud's melee blade skill, it's a chargeable attack that does big damage when fully charged, and has fairly good range as well. Her second offensive synergy skill is Combat Savior which is a bit unique in that you activate it once to turn it on, your partner will then follow up each of your attacks with one of their own. This is done with either Cloud, Barret, and or Red. And finally, her defensive skill is Bodyguard, which is identical to Tifa's, except for the fact that it can be performed with all characters. Red's Wild Charge is a simple and extremely solid melee combo that builds good ATB and is especially notable because it's usable with every character. Iron Defense is identical to Barret's skill, but only performable when you're with Tifa, Aerith, or Yuffie. And finally, Phantom Fang is very similar to Tifa's Slip and Slide skill, in that it's a counterattack that has Red leaping backwards and then jumping back into the fray for a counterattack. Red already has some great defensive options though that build his Vengeance meter, so it's really a judgement call of whether you want to build up some Vengeance with a standard block and counter, or you'd rather build up ATB. Yuffie's Shuriken Sink is an offensive skill done with Cloud, Barret, and or Tifa, and has Yuffie tossing out her shuriken like normal, but your partner will attack the enemy while they're being assaulted by the shuriken, freeing Yuffie up to continue the assault on her own. Fox Flame is another charge ability performed with Aerith, Red, and or Kate Sith. 
What's unique about this one, however, is that its elemental affinity can be changed by using Yuffie's elemental ninjutsu ability, making it a great way to attack an enemy's weakness with a damaging attack that doesn't require ATB. And finally, Ninja Bazooka is another counterattack ability, much like Slip and Slide and Phantom Fang, that causes Yuffie to jump back and counterattack. It's usable with all characters. The synergy skill Magic Microphone allows Kate to command Cloud, Tifa, and or Yuffie to teleport to whatever enemy he's currently targeting and attack it, building ATB for both characters. Kate's second ability is performable with all characters and is called All Out Assault. Kate will call his partner over to beat on an enemy, and if he's also got his mount, he'll hop off of it and it'll become a 3 on 1 assault with Kate, the mount, and your synergy partner. And finally, once again, Kate Sith has the bodyguard ability as his defensive synergy skill with Barret, Aerith, and or Red. One final, final thing to note about both synergy skills and synergy abilities is that the first time you use one that utilizes Cloud, the relationship between him and that character will deepen. You can tell which synergy abilities you haven't used yet by noting the yellow circle next to their name in the command list. And that's our guide on how to properly use synergy in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. For more, make sure to check out our combat guide, our list of essential tips, and much, much more. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.